Hello students, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's video, from physics subject, motion topic we are going to continue. So already some problems we have already completed children. So we have discussed already some problems up to up to 22 question already we have completed. So next, next question, 23rd question. Let's see 23rd question. So a projectile thrown at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal has a range R1 and attains a maximum height H1. Another projectile thrown with the same speed at an angle 30 degrees with the vertical has a range R2 and attains a maximum height H2. Here one projectile is thrown at an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal, 30 degrees with the horizontal. But another projectile is thrown with the same speed, here also speed, speed u and uh, here also speed u. But how at an angle 30 degrees with the vertical, not with the horizontal, with the vertical. With the vertical 30 degrees means with the horizontal 60 degrees. So uh, here uh, to confuse us, they have given like this children. But we have to always consider uh, the angle made with the horizontal, not with the vertical. So the first time, first time it, uh, it has covered a range of R1. Second time it has covered a range of R2, R2 and uh, height of h1, h2. So then what is the relation between them? <coughs> so here, so for uh, first projectile motion, angle from horizontal is 30 degrees. For second projectile motion, angle from horizontal theta 2 equal to 90 minus 30, which is equal to 60. So now range R1, we have formula for range R1, u square sine 2 theta by 2z. So u square sine theta value 30 degrees, u square uh, sine 2 into 30 degrees by z, 2 into 30 degrees, 60 degrees. So sine 60 degrees, the value is root 3 by 2. So we will be having root 3 by 2 u square by g. Sine 60 degrees value will become root 3 by 2. So this root 3 by 2 will come in the front, root 3 by 2 u square by g. This is the value of R1. In the same way, if you calculate R2, if you calculate R2, then u square sine 2 theta by z. So this time it is a uh, theta is 60 degrees. So sine 2 into 60, which is equal to sine 120, deg 120 degrees, can be written as sine 90 plus 30 degrees because we know sine values from 0 to uh, 0, 30, 45, 60, 90 degrees only. So we usually take values from 0 to 90 degrees. But here 120 means more than 90 degrees. We know the values of all trigonometric ratios, sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, from 0 degrees to 90 degrees. So this 120 degrees to be written as 90 plus 30. So for one right angle, for one right angle, so sine 90 will become cos. So what is remaining? 30 degrees. So sine 120 degrees indirectly it is equal to cos 30 degrees. So cos 30 degrees value also root 3 by 2. Cos 30 degrees value also root 3 by 2. So this time also its, its value will become root 3 by 2 u square by z. So both values we have got equal. So R1 equal to R2. That is one relation. Then what about H1 and H2? So here H1 equal to so H1 equal to u square sin square theta by 2z, which is equal to u square by 2g into sin theta how much 30 degrees? Sin 30 degrees how much? 1 by 2 means 1 by 2 whole square or u square by 2g into 
1 by 4. This is h1 value. In the same way, h2 equal to u square sin square theta by 2z. So, u square into r, uh, u square by 2g into sin square theta, sin square 60 degrees. Sin 60 degrees, how much? Root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2 whole square. Root 3 by 2 whole square, which is equal to u square by 2g into uh, root 3 whole square equal to 3, 2 square equal to 4. If we divide, if we divide h1 by h2, if we divide h1 by h2, h1 by h2 equal to uh, 1 by 4 by 3 by 4, 1 by 4 by 3 by 4, 4, 4 gets cancelled. So, 1 by 3 is remaining. 3 will come this side, h2 will come this side. So, h2 equal to 3 h1 is the relation between them, relation between them. So, r1 equal to r2, one relation, h2 equal to 3 h1, another relation. So, here the answer sir, r1 equal to r2, option b, h2 equal to 3 h1, option d. So, b comma d, not b comma c, b comma d are the correct options. Next. So, the maximum height attained by a projectile is increased by 1 percent by increasing its speed of projection without changing the angle of projection. Then the percentage increase in the horizontal range 2 percent, horizontal range 1 percent, time of flight 0 0.5 percent, time of flight 2 percent. So, uh, in first, the if the if the horizontal range attained by the projectile in the beginning is h1, if it is increased by 1 percent, means h1 plus 1 percent of h1, it is increased by 1 percent. So, then it will become equal to h2. If the height attained is increased by 1 percent, then what will be the change in increase in horizontal range, increase in time of flight. So, here uh, how the height increased means by increasing the speed of projection, by increasing the u value, speed value, but not changing the angle of projection. Without changing theta, if u value is increased, then if the height value is increased by 1 percent, then what will be the increase in uh, range and time of flight, range and time of flight. Next. So, tan theta equal to 4 h by r, tan theta equal to 4 h by r. This is the relation which we have already proved in our concept. The relation between height and maximum height and range is given by tan theta equal to 4 h by r or r equal to 4 h cot theta. Means, uh, here the relation between h and r does not depend on u, does not depend on u or h by r. The value of h by r, if uh, theta is constant, then h by r value is always constant. h by r value is always constant. There will be no change. There, in the ratio, there will be no change. If the uh, height is increased by 1 percent, 1, per, 1 percent, then range to be increased in such a manner, such that their ratio will be constant. So, actually that calculation we can do with the help of a concept called derivative cylinder. It is somewhat uh, uh, the topic not yet covered. So, if we solve according to derivatives, if we solve according to derivatives, if height is increased by 1 percent, then range also will be increased by 1 percent. So, just remember the 
answer children just remember the answer so here uh, h by r ratio does not depends on u it only depends on angle of projection but here angle of projection is constant angle of projection is constant so that's why uh, it does it doesn't depends on u uh, we can calculate h1 by r1 ratio r if uh, change in h delta h is uh, 1% then what will be the change in delta r that we can do with the help of derivatives concept children here we have not yet learned that concept so just remember if the change in h is 1% then range also it will be equal to 1% 1% and the relation between time of flight and range is given by r equal to t square g by 2 tan theta r equal to g square t by 2 tan theta which means so r by t square is constant r by t square value is constant because g is constant tan theta is constant 2 is constant if t square comes this side r by t square equal to constant previously if a height increased by 1 percent range increased by 1 percent but here if range increases by 1 percent uh, if uh, r by previously we have learned h by r is constant if height increased by 1 percent range also increased by 1 percent now r by t square is constant if range increases by 1 percent then what about time t square will increase us by 1 percent but we need time time will be increased by 0 0.5 percent we are having square here so that's why time will increase by 0 0.5 percent how we have got this answers we can learn later children just remember the values so horizontal range will increase by 1 percent time of flight will increase by 0 0.5 percent so answer not a comma d children b comma c are the correct options b comma c are the correct options next year. so next year, comprehension passage type questions comprehension passage type questions so two objects are projected from the same point with the same speed u at an at angles of projections alpha and beta with the horizontal respectively with the horizontal respectively so two objects are projected from same point from with the same speed with the same speed u at an angles of projection one is alpha and the other one is beta with the horizontal both the angles are made with the horizontal respectively they strike the ground at the same point at a distance r from the point of projection the respective maximum heights attained by the objects are h1 and h2 times of flights are t1 and t2 ranges are same r1 and r2 both are same heights are different time of flights are different angles of projections are different so then what is the relation between them that we have to find so the horizontal range is same the horizontal range is same so we have alpha plus beta equal to 90 degrees for a complementary angles of projection for that kind of angles only uh, ranges will be same so alpha plus beta equal to 90 degrees beta equal to 90 minus alpha like this we can write why we are writing like this because the horizontal range is same so we have formula for h1 um, because the first uh, beginning angle of projection first angle of projection is alpha then h1 formula is u square sin square alpha by 2z <coughs> h2 formula is u square sin square beta by 2g but in the place of beta we can keep 90 minus alpha <coughs> sin 90 minus alpha sin 90 minus alpha means for sin 90 it will become cos 
for one right one right angle it will become cos cos minus alpha which is equal to cos alpha so sin square beta is there if we keep a uh, 90 minus alpha in the place of sin square beta then it will become sin square 90 minus alpha sin square 90 means it will become cos square minus alpha will become plus alpha so cos square alpha u square cos square alpha by 2z so these are the values of h1 and h2 h1 and h2 so next r value so we have the formula for r uh, r equal to actually u square u square sin 2 theta by g u square sin 2 theta by z u square sin 2 theta by z in the place of sin 2 theta we can write uh, 2 sin theta cos theta or uh, if you take alpha if you take alpha angle uh, 2 sin alpha cos alpha 2 sin alpha cos alpha here u square by g children one minute u square by g only not 2z u square by z so in the place of sin 2 alpha we can write 2 sin alpha cos alpha this r value and the t1 value 2u sin alpha by g t2 value 2u sin beta by g but sin beta can be written as cos alpha so from equations 1 to 3 equations 1 to 3 we can have from equations 1 to 3 what we can write so so r equal to u square by g common into 2 what is the value of sin alpha what is the value of sin alpha sin alpha means this 2g will go here this 2g will go here it will become 2g h1 this u square u square will come down 2g h1 by u square square will go down it will become square root square root of 2g h1 by u square in the place of a uh, sin alpha from first equation we can write this and uh, in the place of cos alpha from this second equation from from the second equation we can write 2g h2 by u2 2g h2 by u2 where r equal to we have u square by u g into 2 into root 2 into root 2 1 2 will come out g into g 1 g will come out h1 into h2 it will remain in the root because both are separate by u square into u square 1 u square will come out so u square u square cancel gg gets cancelled 2 into 2 4 so 4 root of h1 h2 will remain 4 root of h1 h2 will remain r equal to 4 root of h1 h2 r equal to 4 root of h1 h2 uh, fourth option is the correct one so no need of time of flight children without time of flight equations only we were able to solve the answer uh, for next question we can use of use this time of flights the ratio of h1 by h2 how much the ratio of h1 by h2 how much so h1 by h2 if we divide these two u square by 2g u square by 2g cancel cancel sin square alpha by cos, cos square alpha will be equal to tan square alpha will be equal to tan square alpha so option c is correct sum of h1 this is h2 children sum of h1 plus h2 how much sum of h1 plus h2 means h1 how much u square by 2g sin square alpha plus h2 how much u square by 2g cos square alpha where u square by 2g is common sin square alpha plus cos square alpha sin square alpha plus cos square alpha equal to 1 u square by 2g into 1 equal to u square by 2g so option b is correct so option b is correct So, okay, so remaining questions.
uh, we can complete in our next video chala. so we can complete in our next video that's all for today children thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving let our latest updates you can also visit our website chilan aims today aims today dot in aims today dot in www dot aims today dot in for information regarding previous online classes coding classes art and craft classes uh, english speaking skills or motivational talks for other things you can visit our website chilan thank you chilan have a good day